Who likes responsibility? Okay, why would anybody want to take on more responsibility? Responsibility can seem scary and maybe it sounds like more work. But I want to show you why anybody should actually want more responsibility. Responsibility goes hand in hand with authority. And most people like authority because authority is the power to make your own decisions. So before you give up on responsibility, let's take a look at what it really is and why it's so important. Responsibility is doing what is right for you and the people around you and accepting the consequences of your action. God says that when you're responsible in one area, he wants to give you more authority. In the parable of the talents, Jesus taught, the master was full of praise. Well done, my good and faithful servant. You have been faithful in handling this small amount. So now I will give you many more responsibilities. Let's celebrate together. In this passage, we see that responsibility was a gift because it came with authority. So if you want to have more authority, then it's important to grow in your responsibilities. Whether it's in school, with your family, or at work, the people who have the most authority will look to see how you handle your responsibility. And when you show that you take care of your responsibilities, they're more likely to give you more power to make your own decisions. But you also need to think about why you want authority and influence. When God has given you the opportunity to influence others, that's leadership. And good leaders care for the people who follow them. Jesus cared so much for those who followed him that he died for them. And Jesus was the best leader the world has ever seen. And we see this example of responsibility in leadership, even with animals. Let's take a look at gorillas as an example. Gorillas are strong animals that live and cooperate together in close family groups called troops. Each troop will find food together and take care of one another, and they're led by a single dominant silverback gorilla. The silverback is the leader of the troop, and it has a lot of authority in the group. It has the power to make decisions, and it makes a lot of choices for the group. It chooses where they go and when they go. It chooses who's safe to invite in or not. But where there's authority, there's also responsibility. The silverback is responsible for teaching the little ones how to build a nest. Yeah, gorillas build nests. It also teaches them how to forage for food and how to communicate. It also has the responsibility to make sure that the sick and wounded get well. The dominant silverback is responsible for the protection and safety of the troop. Whenever the troop is threatened, the silverback will ferociously beat its chest, produce loud scowling vocalizations and even a smelly odor. It might even throw vegetation and charge at the intruder. When they charge, they give their family a chance to escape safely. So even though the silverback has a lot of authority in the group, it takes on a great deal of responsibility. It takes courage to lead in this way. And that's what a good leader does. A good leader cares about the people who follow them. So you can think about your own life. You have the ability to lead by influencing others. But being a good leader means that you use your influence to help others to be their best. You can do that by asking how others are doing and actually wanting to hear an answer. You can try to understand the challenges that they have and see if you can help them. If you're working on a project together and they're following you as a leader but they don't know how to do something, you can find out how to help train them or give them tools to help them do well. By taking responsibility with your influence, you can help take care of people who follow you and look up to you. And if you lead like that, people will love you and want to follow you. You will grow your influence and gain more authority. And it's important to understand that when God has entrusted you with the opportunity to influence others, more will be expected from you. Luke 12, 48 says, when someone has been given much, much will be required in return. And when someone has been entrusted with much, even more will be required. God wants us to understand the responsibility that we hold when other people look up to us. And when you take responsibility as a leader, don't forget that the buck stops with you. Taking responsibility means not blaming others for your mistakes or any of the mistakes. The silverback can't blame anyone else when things go wrong. It's the leader of the troop and it's responsible when something doesn't go right for the troop. What about you? When something doesn't go the way that you want, are you quick to look at others and blame people for what they did wrong? 
Or are you quick to look inside and say, what can I have done better? The greatest influencers and leaders, godly leaders, are quick to look inside and ask God, what can I grow in? No matter what problem you encounter, you can go to God and ask Him what you can learn from it. And it doesn't matter if it was your fault or somebody else's fault or nobody's fault at all. You still have the opportunity to learn and to get better. And if you keep learning like that, you'll be a great leader that others want to follow. Continue to grow your influence for God. And remember, keep fueling yourself with God's love and truth.